Dr. Knowles, <clears throat> would you say Mr. Foster suffers from any medical illness? In my professional opinion, no, based on his medical records. But my field is psychiatry. So from the perspective of general psychiatry, uh, would you say that sleepwalking is a neurological disease? No. Is it a result of mental illness? No. I would not call sleepwalking a disease of the mind. Could it be premeditated? What do you mean? Is there any evidence someone could plan an act while awake and then carry it out in their sleep? Program the mind. No, absolutely not. We cannot directly control our thought patterns while we're asleep as we can when we're awake. So if Mr. Foster was indeed sleepwalking, there could be no intent to commit murder? Well, in the waking state, we are capable of volition. In layman's terms, doctor, please. We're able to plan and complete premeditated acts while we're awake. But we're incapable of volition while asleep. Or say, in the defendant's case, sleepwalking. Is that correct? Correct. In all the sleep studies, there is no evidence that volition occurs during sleepwalking. Zero evidence. Zero evidence, doctor. In, would you say, hundreds of investigations? Thousands even. The defense rests his case, Your Honor. Prosecution, your witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Very illuminating, Dr. Knowles. I don't have a medical degree, but if I understand correctly, you're saying that A, sleepwalking is not a neurological, psychiatric, or mental illness, and B, that it is a sleep disorder, whereby the defendant would have no capacity to intend, nor any comprehension of the consequences of his actions, or any control while in the sleep state. Is that correct? That's an accurate assessment, yes. In your professional opinion, it would have all been an unconscious activity, completely uncontrolled and not premeditated in your hundreds, no, thousands of studies confirm this, true? Well, not my studies personally, but yes. And the entire body of works within psychiatry does show there can be no correlation to the waking mind. So, the defendant who suffocated his daughter, cut her into seven pieces. Objection, right? Your Honor. Unsubstantiated evidence. Sustained. Excuse me. Please allow me to rephrase the question. The defendant who allegedly maimed and dismembered his daughter, wrapped her body in a garbage bag in the trunk of his car in front of a witness and drove 10 miles to a dumpster to dispose of her remains while wearing gloves was sound asleep? Is that an accurate assessment? Well, there are rare cases where sleepwalkers have been recorded of doing complicated acts. Please answer the question. In my professional opinion, yes. In your professional medical opinion? The defense is no longer asking the questions. I am. Well, what are you asking me exactly? Your medical opinion surrounding sleepwalking, involving the organic and genetic nature of the condition. From a medical standpoint, the sleepwalker, in this case, Richard Foster, is not personally responsible for his actions as long as he's asleep. Hmm? Yes. But we're in a 